It's winter in the Northern Hemisphere, and you know what that means. It means bitter cold? Well, yeah. It means ice and snow? <laughs> of course. It means limited access to sunlight? Well, absolutely. But you know what else it means? Indoor retro riding. <laughs> Let's talk about the things you're gonna actually need for this project, starting with a container to hold it in. Probably something in the 50 quart range, something sturdy as well. You're also gonna absolutely wanna have hand protection, uh, just because you are dealing with kind of caustic chemicals and you wanna make sure that you don't bleach your hands out. Speaking of things you don't want bleached out, you're probably gonna want also wanna wear some goggles or something to protect your eyes. You never know when something might splash. Um, in terms of the actual chemicals we're gonna use, we're gonna use like the 40 Fixer. Um, you can get that at like Sally Beauty. Make sure that you get the uh, liquid, not the cream. And then here are some uh, black lights that you can use to simulate the UV uh, goodness of the sun. And that's what we're gonna use for the project. I got mine on Amazon. Identify the item you want to retro bright. Place it in the bin, uh, making sure that there's plenty of room for any other smaller items you want to add. Uh, you know, the more you can do it once, the better. Go ahead and, and uh, test to see exactly how much uh, liquid is going to be needed uh, to uh, fill up the container. I'm just putting in hot water here. Um, use this time to go ahead and make any kind of final adjustments before adding your chemicals. Glove up, get them in there. Make sure you use eye protection. And what the in terms of the amount, maybe more is better kind of on this step because uh, it'll work a little bit quicker. As you can see, uh, for a vessel this size, I had to use a couple of um, uh, jugs of the stuff. Um, just make sure that uh, you don't have anything around. You don't want to splash anything. Then go ahead, get your lights and stuff in place. I have a little tripod, making sure that the cord's out of the way. No one's going to trip on it. Go ahead and test fire everything. Uh, it might also be a good idea as well to maybe add a piece of plexi. Uh, that'll stop things from falling in, any kind of curious people dipping their fingers in the water. And uh, it also, if there's a problem with your light and it falls forward, uh, it's just gonna hit the plexi rather than hit the water. As you can see, uh, after a few days of turning things and letting it soak, yeah, I got some pretty good results compared to the original. So everybody, good luck with your project and have fun and draw retro writing.